Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day 87 of our 90 day word invasion. Wow. I'm grateful to God for the fact that He had given us grace day by day, precept upon precept, line upon line. And He has given us the enablement to get the accurate words for each day that will send you to the place where God is. Just like Don Muen said, I just want to be where you are. I'm trusting God that this word today will take you from where you are to where God is. Not in death, but in the spirit. Not in any form of poverty, but in accurate positioning and placement in the things that God will have you to do. Because today, God wants to tell you the end from the beginning by the scripture that he has given to us. The scripture for today is Psalm 37 verse 37. An accurate alignment. 37 verse 37. I'm reading the King James Version. It says, Mark the perfect man and behold the upright, for the end of that man is peace. I want to tell us a story of two friends of mine that they told me. We were going out on an inspection to go and look at one or two things, and in the course of going, one of my friends told me a story of his upbringing. Said to me that when they were growing up, they had a neighbor. And that neighbor, um, the parents of, the, of their neighbors had children. And while they were growing up from when they were young to the time when they graduated from university, their parents were praying for them every day. That every morning, every morning and every night, they would hear the prayers of their neighbors that they felt their neighbors were disturbing them. And when they all grew up and they were about 21, 23, 21, 23, all of them were contemporaries in age. They noticed something very significant in the life of those children that with little effort, they were getting results in their lives. And they, the two of them began to analyze and wonder why those children were doing well. They said, okay, they will now begin to look at them to know whether it was connection, whether it was um, um, financial placement, whether it was the people that they knew or the schools they went to. And they noticed that there were many people that went to the schools they went to that were struggling. There were many people that had the connections that they had and they were still struggling. But one way or the other, they came to the resolve that it was as a result of the prayers of their parents. And they said to, to me that they noticed that when parents begin to pray for their children, mighty things begin to happen in their lives. And I, I began to conclude that there's nothing as efficacious as praying for your children, as believing God that God will do good and mighty things in their lives. And I got to the conclusion that God always through the prayers of parents marks out people. I said that to say this, that there are many of us that are, are watching out there. I trust that God, I, I perceive that God is saying to you and I, it's time to begin to invest in your prayer bank for your life. I mean, in the prayer bank for your children and the prayer bank for your business to trust God for the things that God will do in the future for them, in the present for you, and around you in the name of Jesus. It says, Mark the perfect man. Behold the upright man, for the end of that man is peace. I want to say that again. It said, Mark the perfect man. I told you the story because those two friends of mine marked a perfect family. They analyzed what was happening in their life and they came to a conclusion that prayer was the differential or was or prayer made the difference in the life of those children. And he said, behold the upright. They looked at their parents and they saw that they were upright. You know, the Bible says, believe in the Lord, you will be saved, you and all your household. And the last verse of scripture that we read previously was from Psalm 112 verses one to three about a man that fears the Lord. When a man fears the Lord, his children are blessed. His family is blessed. His children and his descendants are mighty in the land. The benefits of a man that follows and fears the Lord. And that's why the Lord is saying that when you want to understand what he's doing, mark a perfect man and behold the man that is upright and watch how his life will end. What God is asking us to do today is to begin to live our lives to be blameless and perfect before him so that people can mark us and use us as examples and use us as templates and models for which they will begin to model. Say, be imitators of me as I am an imitator of Christ. The Lord is saying to you today that we need to begin to live perfect. 
we need to begin to live blameless. The two words there are very important. Perfect man, upright man. Another version says, mark the blameless and behold the upright man. I want to trust God today that God will give you the grace to become blameless in everything that you do. Because the word perfect there is translated the word tam. It means perfect. It means righteous. It means good. And God is saying that when you begin to live a perfect life, people mark you and they begin to say they want to be like you. They want to trust God for your life. People are watching you. You just don't know. They might be telling you that you are too spiritual. But the truth about the matter is they want to be like you. And God is saying to you that do not in any way lower the standards of righteousness in your life. Don't water down the standards of God in your life. Keep at the level that you are. Holiness is still in fashion. Holiness is still in vogue. Regardless of whatever anybody says or whatever anybody believes, the righteousness of God is still the standpoint for which any man can see God. Without righteousness and holiness, no man can see God. And when you become upright in everything that you do, Everything that concerns you, God will always make to happen, that make to come out well. And that's why he says, mark the upright man, mark the perfect man, because his end is peace. The peace of God that passes all understanding will guide your hearts and guide your spirits. And as we come to the end of this broadcast, I want you to please pay close attention to those two words. Upright man, perfect man. Be the upright man. Be the perfect man so that God can use you just like he did Job. Because God boasted about Job in Job chapter 1 verse 8. He said, have you seen my servant Job who is a perfect man and fears the Lord? Because being perfect and being upright is, 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 is summed up in one word, the fear of the Lord. And that's why it remains the only place where you enter into and there's guarantee that your future will be secured. When a man fears the Lord, his descendants, descendants become testimonies on the face of the earth. Aside from his life being a testimony, he is also a testimony. And I trust God that today you will choose to become the perfect and the upright man so that the world can look at you and use you as a model for which God will be glorified. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you. Until I come your way again, you'll be blessed. God bless you.